here with another video. So today, something that I ain't did in a while to show you guys what I actually be doing for the day. So um, right now, what I'll be doing is picking up, dropping off, picking up, dropping off. Of course, I still do short hauls and stuff like that. But with the way things are going, you know, you have to find a way to adapt to what's going on and how to maximize and make the most money. So with that being said, what I was doing was trying to do multiple loads in one day and this is how i'm able to make maybe you know a thousand dollars eight nine a thousand dollars a day but using less fuel by the way because look right now as you can see i have about a quarter of a tank right and i should be able to complete my whole day with the fuel that i have even though i may stop and get fuel in between time um that's probably enough fuel to get what i need to get done for the day but this is the place that i like to come to right i come to and pick up places like this all right as you can see all right there's nobody else here all right just me all right it's, it's just it's just me here and nobody else right so a lot of these places like this be very quiet i could pick up a load very easily sometimes but i'm gonna tell you this with <laughs> Where it angers me a little bit, you know, and I don't like to get angry or get too anxious or whatever, but I can sometimes come to places like this and I'll literally be sitting there for an hour before they start doing anything. And I don't know what they're doing. You can say, oh, well, maybe they're prepping a the load and stuff like that, but nah, I'll be seeing them come outside, ride around a Fort Lift, smoke cigarettes and do all type of stuff while I'm sitting here actually waiting. And they will go to lunch on your ass and leave you in that truck until they get done with lunch. You know, they ain't about to try to come and load you before or after lunch until they get done doing whatever they're doing sometimes. But good bit of the time, they do, you come in, they get you in, they get you out. And with that being said, I can easily pick up a load, drop it off, and then go grab another one. So I'm at the first stop now. We about to pick this load up and then we're gonna take it 10 miles down the road, get it unloaded, and then we're gonna get to the next one. So let's get it. All right, guys, as you can see, all right, nice clean freight. Ain't even, ain't even loaded all the way. All right. drop I have three of them today so I'm gonna run three of them that should get me at the number that I mentioned right so this is the first one I'm already here at the first drop and it's 902 um, as you can see we're here and um, I gotta wait for that orange container to move but you know I think what we're hauling is pretty much the engines for some of these little tractors and stuff like that. So once we get off of this, we get to the next one and um, it's not far away. Like this was only 10 miles away from where I picked it up at. Uh, it's only five miles away from here where I'm picking up at next. And I'll show you guys what that is. And then, you know, I have two of those, two of the same ones and I'm picking up at the same place. So I pick it up there, drop it off at the receiver, come back, pick up another shipment of it and take it back to the receiver. And that's how I would end the day. So. Um, let's get to it. We on it. And as you can see, we sitting here and a lot of this stuff be contingent on getting loaded and unloaded. You know, the only way it's going to work, like I said, we can get in there an hour, two hours, it's pushing it, but we can get in there, get loaded, get unloaded, you know, 
we can get multiple loads in a day and we're not really burning that much fuel. So let's see what happens. As you can see, they're done. Now I'm about to try to finally park. But the thing about coming here is, is man, just look at it, man. Like, it's stuff everywhere, right? So you gotta be careful. And not only is it's not just stuff, these are actually expensive as tractor parts. So we definitely don't want to crush or run over nothing or even tap nothing when we're trying to get into these doors. Um, so you know, that's the door we were going to door one. That'll let the truck behind me be able to get in the door too, because you know I'm considered like that. But guys, also keep in mind if you are trying to get your authority, make sure you email me, hit me up, because you know I've been dealing with the my agent and my factory company and all that type of stuff for the last past three years so i can say that you know i got some good you know time with them to know how they operate on a year to year basis so they're pretty solid so if you want somebody that you could probably pretty much always get in touch with make sure you email me and i get that over to you so i'm about to open the doors and we'll get this thing parked into the door and i'll tap in with you second one I already made it here to the second pickup and I got one more of these so I just got loaded with this one I got to go unload it and then I got to come right back here and load another one and then take it and deliver that one and that will conclude this little run but let's see what we got I'll load it up Close these doors and we out. Here shortly, we about to pull up to the receiver for this load. And like I say, I got one more turn to do. So I gotta drop this off, go back to where I picked this load up from and come back over here. And that's how you get to it. It looks like I am gonna successfully do it because I just had to be back over to the shipper by 2 p.m. and I can deliver it up until 5 p.m. over here at the receiver. So this video you know so that's pretty much what i do you know um that's what i've been doing for the last couple months or whatever is this right here in particular because it's just easier you know as you can see we already on the door those guys they're probably on lunch right now um i do have one more of these to run so i have another trip to do like i just mentioned earlier so um but i'm gonna just end the video right here because it's pretty much the same thing i've just got to go back over there where i picked this load up from come back and drop that one off and then i'll be done for the day but as you can see, it doesn't make sense to really just, you know, be doing a lot of long haul and stuff, right? So I like the short haul stuff. You know, I like to get in, get out. I like to get loaded, get unloaded as quickly as possible because once you do that, you know, that's when you get paid. So I already done submitted this, like I say, to factoring or whatever. So I already done submitted my information for this load. So I'm getting paid for this tomorrow. So I do this every day if you do this every day you run your loans you drop your loans you get daily income coming in and um that's what i've been doing i've been real busy i haven't been dropping videos because i've been real busy just trying to like you know figure out something it looks like i got something working right now at the moment this is currently doing pretty good you know i'm running multiple loads today just trying to make it happen man so i hope you guys can do the same i hope everything is going good for you email me if you need the context for you know your services right if you need insurance you 
lead factor and lead fuel cards, whatever, email me. I got you. Until next time, see you in the next video.